Welcome back to another Sunflower Man audio visual experience. And my voice feels good. I only had one cup of coffee and I slept in, so it, it's working really well for me. L yesterday, I just did a pop up with Captain Casual. That was great. We were at Toasted Coffee in Dallas. Now um, I'm preparing for next week's Singer and Monk pop-up shop uh it's gonna be july 14 and 15 in the bishop arts district at singer and monk in dallas that's gonna be really cool if you're in the area dallas people come out and visit me uh it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool i'm gonna do live painting i'll have some of my originals up for sale you can buy hats at singer and monk and there's a cigar shop next door and bishop arts is just a great place to be so check that out today we are talking about the passers by one of my favorite paintings of 2017 it's 11 by 15 inches it's up on the site right now if you want to go purchase it there are prints available as well one of my favorite paintings because it features one of my favorite watches brew watches of course who doesn't love brew and i think it's this exact watch except without the blue dial and so it features brew watches it's gonna be a beautiful gray suit oh man i should have worn a gray suit today that would have been brilliant for this video featuring with this gray suit it's a sunflower man design so we were living in Greece at the time, Halkita, Greece, and I was working on a series uh, for my friend's coffee shop, Cassiope Cafe in Paris, and we did a show there last year, which was awesome. So I did a whole series for that show, three dominant pieces, three main pieces, three hero pieces, if you want to uh, uh, call them that. It was the Coffee King, it was the, the Psychedelic, crazy candy land painting and then this the passers-by this was actually the first one that i completed in that series and it was in this vein of surrealist paintings not the first one but one of the first major surrealist pieces that i think really took off for me really set my mindset in that direction because it, i was able to play in this painting you'll you'll see in here i'm i'm able to play more with uh the the imagery and if you're watching along right here, so we've been watching the drawing come to life. In this video, I shot it a little bit differently. Instead of straight up overhead, we did the moments, right? So I, I kind of drew it in sections, the main figure, the car, the buildings, the passersby on the bottom, the light, all of the different aspects. I, I zeroed in on those things for this video instead of doing a, a complete overhead shot. And then even in the painting of it, I did that. So you get one overhead shot here and you drawing in all the stuff. That was a brew watches on my wrist. Actually, I was wearing the leather band on that brew watch while I was um, wearing it. But the, the character has the metal, or actually the character might also have a leather band. That's totally fine. That, that's great. I'm, I'm, again, I'm watching it here while I talk about it. So the, the scene is set in New York. I love New York. New York is one of my favorite places in the world. The people are amazing. The energy is insane. And I just love being there. It's, uh, it gives you hope and for the potential that your work can uh, have on the world. So right here, I take a giant brush. Um, let me grab it. So this brush right here, it is a Windsor and Newton Series 250 Pure Squirrel Hair. Um, size, what is that, 19? size 19 brush it's a, a round with a, a pointy tip beautiful brush for doing these layered background washes of color that was kind of my main jam in the beginning there and then i went down to this smaller watercolor brush one of my favorites it's a windsor newton as well it's a professional series watercolor sable brush it's that that sable hair here it's a pointed round as well and it's uh the size six the other one's a size 19. they're from different series um, but they're both Windsor and Newton, so that's a size 19. I'll do the initial layer and then the smaller stable brush. I'll start adding in details and then I'll take my really pointed brushes. Oftentimes it is, oh man, what, what is this? This is like a silver, silver black velvet round. It's a size six as well, uh, but it has a, it is much smaller than the, the Windsor and Newton and it has a, a pointier tip and I, it's, it's traveled with me all around the world. It's done me wonders in my painting. Hey 
Here are the passers by in the that I'm painting in detail here. I named the piece after these two characters. I think there's something interesting. They're very isolated. They're framed by the leg of the main figure. They're framed by the the walk sign, the back of the walk sign, and then the street signs as well. They're kind of framed by all of that with a backdrop of a city building. There's something about the way that they're set up there that just they called out to me and said, we are the most important part of this painting. So I, I named it after them, the passers-by. My initial intent was that main figure was going to be the, the signature part of the painting, but I, I ended up really loving these two characters. The main character is wearing a beautiful Borsalino hat, a suit designed by myself, Sunflower Man. So Sunflower Man designed suit. The watches, brew watches, of course. I always love brew. The tie, if I'm remembering, the tie was based on uh, Perfetto Benedetto. What's his? Shibumi Firenze? Firenze. So Shibumi out of Florence, Italy. They, he does uh, accessories, but also for like full bespoke suiting. And so the, the tie is off of one of his ties. And the car in the background, I don't know anything about cars. So I'll have to go way back to dig in to find out what car this is. I know nothing about cars. Set in New York, there's somebody carrying balloons. Why balloons? I don't actually know. There's something about balloons that caught me at that exact moment. And he's got the floating coffee. Maybe it's a latte, maybe it's a cappuccino, maybe it's an Americano. You don't know, but it's in this beautiful metal mug that he's kind of floating around with. Glasses flying off of his face. The, the hat's on. Lately, this, so initially I, I didn't have the hat popping off. That's been a thing that I'm doing in a lot of the paintings lately is having the hat pop off. Uh, but this is earlier on in the Surrealist works. There you see the coffee with a beautiful reflective surface. It's a metal surface. So it looks like maybe this, this guy added milk to his coffee. It's not very dark. It's okay. If you add milk to your coffee, that's totally fine. I drink my espresso black. Straight black espresso. So you better make it good. I had a terrible, disgusting Cortado yesterday. And I tweeted about it. Asking if anybody knew what to do when you've had the worst Cortado of your life. That's what I had yesterday. I'm not going to say who it was, but normally that's why I just drink my espresso black because I first sip, I can tell disgusting, terrible, throw it away. And it doesn't feel like I've had as big an investment as like a cortado or a latte. The espresso is the base. If you don't do it well, what are you doing? Get out of here. Make me a good espresso, please. Uh, I love espresso. That's just me waxing about coffee. So here I'm detailing him the suit, this gray suited, simple. Uh, two button, single breasted, notch lapel, kind of a thin lapel. I mean, it's not super razor thin lapel, but it's a, a thinner lapel. And then you see the whole painting as a whole. You get this beautiful New York scene. I think there's something hectic about this painting that's kind of fun when it all comes together in this, this single moment. Um, I don't know, there's something beautiful, Dali-esque about that moment. All right, thank you so much again for joining me on this Sunfly Man audio video experience. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Follow me on Instagram at Sunflower Man. Follow me on Twitter at Sunflower Man. Follow me on Facebook. I don't think you use ads on Facebook. Just Sunflower Man. I hope to uh, see you guys again next week. The cat's rubbing up against my leg. I guess uh, she's hungry. Anyway, peace.